Welcome to the Throstles Nest Stadium, home of AFC Farsley, for today's Evo Stick First Division North match between AFC Farsley and Camel Lairds of Birkenhead. Farsley go into this game with six wins on the bounce, and in the last four games they haven't conceded a goal, and they must be considered the informed side. Camel Lairds, on the other hand, have experienced back-to-back -back away wins away at Kendall Town in the FA Trophy and also at Radcliffe Borough in the league. Well, Camel Lairds is the same side that finished the game against Radcliffe Borough. Kevin Atherton retains his place in goal, a back four of Stephen Farragan, Shea Dysart, Mike Grogan and Lee Atherton. Danny O'Brien, John Giblaroo in the centre of midfield. John Couch playing just behind the forward, Aaron Bowen with Joe Holt on the right and Jamie Hendels on the left. For Farsley FC, it's the same side that won last week. Tom Morgan in goal, Mark Jackson, Ryan Saran, Dave Briggs and James Riley at the back. Josh Redcliffe, Adam Priestley, Ryan Watson, Adam Muller, Gareth Grant and captain Chris Walton. Our referee for today's game is Mr Alan Marshall, ably assisted by Mr Peter Cook and Mr Peter Hartley. And the referee gets us underway. Corner to be taken by Priestley and it's beat the goalkeeper off the line by Farragan, struck by Morgan. And here's Priestley, taken out wide and shielded by Stephen Farragan. Priestley tries to deliver away by Joe Giblaroo. Joe Holt trying to challenge but Ryan Surratt with the ball back in. It's cleared by Farragan. The ball came in. Not sure if there was a bit of wind or something on that, but beat the goalkeeper Atherton. And Farragan had to be alert on the back post. Atherton forward. Bowen for the header. Stephen Farragan with the ball in. Oh, Jamie Henders is in here. Jamie Henders. Oh, it's a wonderful start for Camelads. And a fantastic goal as well. Tony Sullivan delighted. It's a clever ball by Stephen Farragut. Not sure if the if the defender James Riley saw Jamie Henders coming on his blind side, but what a finish as well. Camel Laird's lead at the Throssels Nest Stadium. Be a shock to the system for Farsley. Farragut. John Couch and Farragan delivers. There's a Henders. Oh, and it's fell for Aaron Bow and it's 2 0. Camel Lairds have got themselves a second goal and we've only played 15 minutes here. Someone hasn't handed Camel Lairds a script before this game. Tony Sullivan trying to calm his troops and let them know there's still a game on here. 15 minutes in and Farsley AFC who've been on such tremendous form find themselves two behind. Now want to make amends for that straight away and Priestley tries to play it forward but Farragut will come away. Free kick to Camel Lairds with Danny O'Brien. Ball in. Goalkeeper got hands on it. Henders and Bowen. Giblaru tries a shot. It's blocked. It's Jamie Henders. Mike Grogan tries a shot. It's deflected in. Is that Aaron Bowen? It is. It's a third goal for Camelards right on the stroke of half time. And the big man who hasn't scored since Bank Holiday Monday in August. Away at Prescott Cables has got himself a couple of goals. Let's have a look here. Grogan with the initial shot, and Aaron Bowen just simply guides it into the far corner. Most of the goalkeeper's weight was going the other way, and that is 3 0 to Camel Lairds. Farsley will, well, the Farsley manager, anyway, he'll be livid. And the players are probably going to feel the full force of that as the half time whistle goes. And what a fantastic half of football for Camel Laird's Football Club! Off 
Charles to come forward. Riley. That's a lovely way to pass. And a square ball, and here's Priestley. Has the chance gone? No, it hasn't. And at last, Farsley get themselves on the score sheet. And it's Farsley's leading goal scorer, Adam Priestley, with his eighth goal of the season. A lovely weighted ball through to Adam Muller. And Adam Muller, who could have went for goal himself, he spotted Priestley, whose first touch almost let him down. And despite the diving efforts of Shea Dysart, Priestley squeezes the ball in the corner. And is the life in Farsley with 15 minutes to go? Throw taken by Sarant. There's Muller. There's another chance here. Muller over the keeper. Off the line. Looked like Shea Dysart. Delightful little chip. Over the advancing Atherton. Yes, yeah, Shea Dysart with the clearance. Forward ball. And for Couch to run to, but the final whistle goes. And Camelards have recorded a fantastic victory here today. Farsley will be very disappointed. Jamie Henders with a goal on nine minutes in the first half. And then a double strike from Aaron Bowen on 15 and 45. Gave them a 3 0 half time lead. Priestley got a goal back for Farsley on 75 minutes. But that wasn't to be enough. Final score Farsley 1. Camel Laird so 3. wins on the spin and against the team, it's fair to say, with the form side at the moment in this division. Farsley are there, top draw side, and they'll be there or thereabouts again. Um, that's a fantastic performance. It's a performance that um, I didn't see coming. They surprised me. But I keep telling them in that dressing room, they've got, they've got ability, they've got everything. They've got what's needed to... To, to, to easily compete at this level. We've come here today and we've had a goal. We've scored three good goals. I think the goal just before half time was the was the was the clincher really for us. I think we were under I think we were under a bit of pressure for the last fifteen minutes. You know, and I don't think we've caught these on an off day. I think they've caught us on a good day. And that's what we're capable of. And you know it's a fantastic performance for the players and I'm pl I'm pleased for them again. I'm proud of them, but you know, it's not just them. You know, I keep saying, you know, the team, you know, with Stel, Barry, Macha, you know, they're they're part of it. People are always they always say, oh, you've done well, so you've done. I haven't done nothing. I'm just being, you know, I've just been, you know, good enough to be put in charge of that bunch of that bunch of lads out there today, and and you know, that's been coming for a long time, and hopefully they'll start now believing in themselves a little bit more and. You never know where it'll take them. I know a few weeks ago uh, when results were hard to come by, um, people saying, here we go again, is it another going to be another poor season? But you never you never thought that once. You knew there was something in this bunch. Um, as the manager, I have, to, I have to take a lot of the flack. And I do. Last season, there were people sniffing around the job and fair play to them if they wanted. There was even people who, who were you know close to me, who had let get close to me. Who were, who were doing you know, sneaky things, which, you know, for me, just made me stronger as a person. Um, it made me more determined because, you know, it's Tony Sullivan's fault at the end of the day. If we come here and get beat 7 or 8 nil, people don't think I'm alert. They think Tony Sullivan's not good at his job. So, you know, it's great. The feeling's great. It's, you know, and I've always believed in them because if I don't believe in them, a new will. You know, I'd stand side by side with any one of them and I'd love to play with them. I'd love to be to play in this team. Because every single one of them, there's lads sat in that dugout there today. We've got an eighteen year old in the dugout and a lad who's never played at this level before in the dugout. You know, and what a you know, what a fantastic group of lads is in that dressing room and I'm proud of them and I want them to enjoy it because it's been a long time since Camelaird scored. Eight goals in three games. One against. Uh, the big fella number eight, Aaron Bowen. Fantastic performances most weeks. Hasn't scored a goal since Bank Holiday Monday to today. You must be pleased for him personally. Me and Aaron go back a long way. Yeah. I 
and I have got immense faith in that young man because I know what he can do. And I think I think you'll see a different Aaron Bowen now. I think you'll see an Aaron Bowen hungry, who wants it more. But, you know, we're talking about Aaron Bowen. Joseph Feeney was in the squad, gets an injury, Aaron goes up there. Jamie Enders, nine goals for the season. Not even out of October, he's at nine goals. His goal today was top draw again. Jamie Enders does that. Aaron Bowen, two strikers goals, two headers. Fantastic, but, you know, we, we, we'll sit here and, and, and we'll talk about Aaron and we'll sit here and we'll talk about Jamie Enders. But I've got, I've got a goalkeeper there who, who I plucked off Twitter, who's been outstanding. I've got a back four, Stephen Ferrigan, an immense performance, Shea, you know, all immense performances. Joseph Jubileri, you know, I can, today is not an individual performance, today is a team's performance, and, and, and I'd like everyone to recognise the team for that. You hit Fars the early goal on seven minutes, second goal on 14 minutes. Was that in the game plan to get it these early to try and ruffle them up a bit? No. There's, there's, we don't have a specific game plan when we're going to score goals because if that was the case, I'd throw it on it. We, we went out and we said, we'll get at you because we've got nothing to lose. If you're the, you're the home side, you've won six on the bounce, you've not conceded in three or four. So we'll get at you and we'll see what you've got. And thankfully, you know, we got at them and we got, a, we got an early goal. But it was totally deserved anyway. And, you know, we've had chances in the second half. I don't think we've been under pressure as much as what you know, what we we would have liked to, you know, thought to have been, but that was down to us, not, 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 they, you know, they came and played, we just, today we were better. Uh, the, the, the uh, Steve Ferrigan, as you mentioned, great performance for him, he went off with a, a bit of a knock, have you got more on Steve? Steve Ferrigan will put ice on it, and he'll play, he'll play, Stephen Ferrigan will try and play with a broken foot. So he'll be okay for Tuesday? Stephen Ferrigan will be okay, and we, we've got, you know, we've got the injuries out, which is John, and uh, Joe Feeney, but on, on, on an injury note, you know, there'll be a few injured heads in the morning after the coach journey on, because I think they'll have a few, and they deserve a few today. But um, you know, that's a that that's the best best result I've had as a manager. Ever. And uh, finally, Tony Bamba Bridge on Tuesday and Belper away in the cup on Saturday completes a busy week for Lairs, but surely you don't fear anyone at the moment. Oh, I disagree. We fear everyone. Uh, but the only team I fear is our own team because we proved today, we proved a way at Kendall and we proved last week what we're capable of. If they go and think that games are easy, consistency is the key. We have to win as often as we can and we have to, we have to perform as often as we can as well. And for me, if we can play like that, week in, week out, I don't think it'll be... You know, I don't think it'll be us being, you know, fearful of other teams. I think teams will be fearful of us, which is about time for this club, because Camel Lairds deserve a little bit of the rubber, the green, and a little bit of luck. But today is our day, and today is the, the lads' day. So you know, it's another, it's three points, pushes us further away from the drop zone, which for me, that's my priority. We don't go down. We're nowhere near it this season. Yes. Please, Tony, enjoy it, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Not very often a side goes away from home and wins 3-1 and drops down the table. That is the case, unfortunately, for Camelards this afternoon. They finished the game 3-1 winners of Farsley and dropped down to 13th position. That's thanks to wins for Lancaster City and, in particular, a big win for Warrington Town, scoring seven along the way. Next up for Camelards, it's Bamba Bridge, who sit in 18th position. No win in four for them in the league. And Camelards now unbeaten in their last three. Should be an interesting test at the Iron Gate on Tuesday night.